then we can get into the positive side of it, right? Because that was just a friction. Now, like, um, again, bridging the gap between African and African Americans. I have American friends. Some of my best friends are Americans or whatever. Um, so, like, you were talking about, like, you know, everything that people highlight is the Afrobeat part, right? Like, you know, the song, the music. Like, hey, you know, lo and behold, music can bring people together. And that's what's going on. And Afrobeat has done that, right? And even people talk about, uh, you know, Nigeria a lot. Also, Ghana. Also, Congo. Congo, they have hits make, hit makers, right? And, you know, even we can go to Mali, you got you got, you know, so there's things that, you know, are happening that's kind of bridging a gap and people are getting into like the Afrobeat, you know, like all of that and stuff like that. And right now it's like, like you said, it's lit. It's, it's like, it's a thing to be like, you know, some people might disagree with this, but like to, to be like, Africans are lit right now, you know? So. Yeah, definitely. Back then it wasn't cool to be African. Now yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, not for sure. Um, But why, we, why, why would you say that it wasn't cool to be African? Back then it wasn't cool to be African is because Africans were perceived to have flies on their nose and um at, you know on their beg eyes. for and they're on their eyes and you know they stink. 50 cents a day they and in the eyes of the father or whatever that song was heard, I ain't never heard of that Oh I'll play the commercial you'll rem- you'll maybe nah, you'll I don't want to remember that <laughs> but yeah <laughs> it's like in the eyes of you know whatever you know, it is, is like, but um I just, so that's why it wasn't oh 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 do you you oh you live in a tree or like you weren't yeah, it yeah. wasn't cool like um, now it is I didn't I didn't take it like that I didn't I didn't take it like that uh, I just took it as because we used to have road session at, at, at the cafeteria mm-hmm. um so I just looked at it oh we just joke like wherever you from we just gonna clown each other and mm. and I never looked at it as like that's why I say it took me like longer to understand what was going on um like we didn't look at it like that we just looked at it like. You know, like, oh, they just making fun of us good from Africa. We make fun of them because they're African Americans. So we just took it as a. Did as they a, make fun of other African Americans too? Yeah, they made fun of everybody. Okay, so then that's the difference. Whereas, yeah. like, there, I feel like a lot of people have had experiences yeah. where they made fun of Africans. They didn't make fun of each other nah, they make, or anyone they else. They make fun of everybody. They would make like everybody. You okay. Know? So once when we get hit, and that's why I said some people took it to heart because it's like, why you talk like you know? It's, it's like a yeah, look, that's what they do. But mm-hmm. um, but yeah. Like I say, like music brought us together. Hopefully, that keep happening. And remember when Ebola happened? It really wasn't cool. <laughs> oh yeah, like that was crazy. <laughs> that was that was that was that was scary. Um, but yeah, yeah. like it, it's lit. Like my my friends came to my wedding. They were wearing uh, um the African attires and whatever. They were so excited to wear. It. But D Dot was like going crazy with the hat. You know, he really thought he always be like, "Yo, I'm Somali." I'm like, "Bro, like, why you keep saying?" He been saying it since college. Yo, I'm Somali. Oh, <laughs> let me not stop saying Somali. Somali, that's the correct term. Mm. Oh, I'm Somali. I'm Somali. You know, like, all right, okay, cool. But yeah, so like, as far as that, like, I feel like there's a a lot of us that get along with African Americans, and uh, and there's a lot the of African Americans. Thirty percent. No. The thirty. Per- you're you're thirty percent. Yeah, yeah. Like that's because thirty percent is still a lot. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, because the other seventy percent that I'm talking about is like. They deep inside they have this thing for the other other side, mm. um, and Wait, because deep inside or yeah. actually like say because they, deep they'll ins- express it. They'll ex- they'll, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll I just wanted to eventually they'll express it. That. You don't you don't have to express it in front of them because a lot of times y'all be they be scared out like they be scared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they ain't gonna no, say I'm saying because deep inside, like most humans have something against anyone no, the outside it is, of their it tribe. Is not the so same. I just think I it is, just no, it is not because it's th- the thing is is about that like we're not even talking about tribalism right now. Mm-hmm. The thing about it is like is just like you said, whatever the media highlights, when they see them that's the first thing they think. Mm-hmm. They're not looking at they're not even looking at it. As soon as they see them I see criminal. Mm-hmm. But like let's cuz I don't want to get into the friction again. I want to talk about some positive. Mm-hmm. Um cuz like when I say a lot because again my personal experience is different than everything else. My expert personal experience is like we get along, like it's lit, like mm-hmm. we we talk about each other culture, like we wanna, they wanna know and stuff, like they're intrigued, like oh wow, this is this is dope. And one story, right? Like when I was in college, um, I was a kid, um, we used to we share we share the bathroom, the dorm, the bathroom, right? Mm-hmm. And like so, whenever he go inside the bathroom, he would see like uh a subway cup like the big cup like the large cup right mm-hmm. and he's like yo why you guys got the subway cup I, know, I hope y'all not reusing that to 
to drink like out of it. I said, no, 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 no. We Ew. we use it for something else. He said, like he said, that's not, he said, why well, I got the cup in the bathroom? Just put it on a. I said, no, we use it to clean up after we use do number two. He was like, wait, what? I said, yeah, like we use it after we do number two. It was like, bro, get out of here, you crazy. I'm like, nah, that's a fact. Like that's what we do. He said, what do you mean? I said, like after we use the bathroom, we take napkins. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Why well, I keep saying that? I be confused. Toilet paper, to- napkin, and what's the other one? Paper towel. Paper towel. I be confusing it. Like, you oh, know, really? feel me? I just be calling napkin, paper, whatever come to my mind. <laughs> Toilet paper, right? So I took it. We take that <laughs> clean, but we always use our left hand. So I, t- I had to li- highlight that. You know, I so said we use our left hand. We don't use our right <laughs> hand. The reason why we don't use our right hand, because our right hand is this. This the hand we shake people hands with, and this the hand we eat with, right? So we mm-hmm. never use our right hand. To clean we use the left hand you take the left hand and you take the toilet paper and you clean up mm-hmm. first with that and then you take the cup fill it up right and then put soap on your hand right here and then you go back behind you and then you use your right hand and to to wipe your butt to make sure you're you clean use your right hand to wipe your butt no left hand to wipe your butt but okay. right hand I'm saying you use the right hand to hold a cup and then to wipe uh, your butt. I'm just clarifying for the people because yeah. you just you and to, your hand to, right to, hand. to wipe the butt, right? <laughs> and then, <laughs> so, yeah. And then he was like, wait, what? He, he was recording me. He said, nah, y'all nasty. I said, wait. I'm like, this ain't no reverse psychology, is it? Like, he said, we're nasty. I'm like, wait, how are we nasty? I'm cleaning, cleaning up. And after I'm done wiping my butt and all of that, I will use soap and clean my hand again. I said, how do you, how do you clean up? Even though I knew how they how you clean up, he said, "Yeah, I use I just use toilet paper." I said, "Bro, so you telling me you use toilet paper, just toilet paper, and then put your pants up and go back out?" I'm like, "You walking around here with a dookie butt, and then you telling me that we're nasty, but you walking around here smelling like shittles. Like, mm-hmm. come on, bro." And then I'm like, "So what?" I said, "When do you get the time to wipe your butt?" I'm like, "Because you have to understand." During the day, two p.m. Let's say you use the bathroom, you just use toilet paper, and you walk out. You walking around. You might have some doodle stain on your drawers. You walking <laughs> around smelling like, you know, yesterday and tomorrow. That's crazy. So you, so I was like, yo, that's how we use water. And then his friend was like, um, he said, yeah, no, I mean, I'll clean up, uh, I'll clean up my butt. Like, I clean my butt when I, when I shower. Mm-hmm. So like, in the shower, I, I'm like, how do you clean it up then? He said, um, yeah, I, soap and, you know, I might take the, he said, I swear to God, that's what he said. He said, I, I'm going to take the, um, the loof mm-hmm. and I, I use it and just clean my, I'm like, isn't that the same loof you used to put on your body? Mm-hmm. So you're going to take that and wipe your butt with it with doodle crumbs on it? I'm like, bro, I see. And he had a lot of acne problem. I was, I'm <laughs> like, you probably that You don't use the loof to, to wipe your butt? No, use your hands. Or so, you're saying that after. No, I'm not saying after you did the if, do. I'm saying like in the shower. In the shower, yeah, you still use your hand and like um, and, and clean it. You know what I'm saying? But oh, you don't have a different loof for no, nah, like because the loof I use for my body, I don't use it for my face. I don't put loof on my face. Oh, I have I just, a specific one for my yeah, face. Some people a specific have one for mm-hmm. yeah. No, I only use. I got one loof. Like I'll use it for my body and my face. I only I wash my. I clean my face with my hands. Okay. I put soap on it and do this. I don't want to put the loof on it, and I have sensitive skin, and at time it get itchy. Like I don't know because we got the African um, loof. It feel like concrete bro sometimes like, <laughs> but yeah that was like a that was like a, a culture shock for him and it was, that was that. but i mean and 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 hopefully you you let him know that like it's a it's actually a greater culture right it's not like it's only like an african thing it's, no, it's, it's not, like it's a not. It's not. arab it's like an islamic arab. thing yeah right it's, yeah exactly. so that that's is, that to be clear it. that's a if you if you're if you meet muslims etc like most Muslims, that's what you do. Yeah. And then even the idea of like using your left hand instead of your right, that's yep. what is told to, for people to do in the religion. That's how you do it. So, yep. no, yeah, that's a fact. And, to make sure you're clean and, and things like that. Yeah, he was just shocked. and um, But that was like an experience that I was teaching him about our culture and he gave us his, you know, res- uh, response and his perspective on it. And, you know, yeah. but that was great. And we were, you know, we were great friends and, that's how that's how I usually be, but yeah, I mean I had a lot of great experience uh, with um, I I don't even like using the term like African American because it's like why like to me when I say this like I'm putting them in a box, I'm putting us in a box like we're like there's there's difference like their culture is different from ours, right? There's similarities, but there's a lot of differences also. 
Do you, you know? also feel that way with like calling Caribbeans Caribbeans and you African? No, I think we're all the same. Like, and that's the thing. I did not know the difference between Caribbean, African Americans, Africans. Um, when I like came to America when I was eleven, because we were never thought to categorize each other in that way. But because I know you're gonna say the because you're eleven, yeah. So I mean, you're eleven. So I feel like you're still learning the language and stuff. Like, did you in Africa? Did you know? Oh, this person's from Senegal. This person's from Mali. This yeah. person. So isn't it the same? Like, no. This person, like, this person is Mauritanian. Like, we're or, all the same. We looked at it. We're all the same. There's no difference. Uh, but like, what if like for example, you had someone from like East Africa or like yeah, then, some, then, like then, outside of because. A lot of times in like Mali and stuff, we're 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 all we all come from the like, same ethnic group, and yeah. and then like a lot of times. But let's say like, like oh, uh, this person from he's Tunisia. Ile Ethiopian, Ethiopian, or yeah. you know, yeah, then, Tunisia. Then, then, then or, that one, then with that I'm like, or Kenyan. Yeah, with that, I'm, yeah, not Kenyan, but if if you're dark, <laughs> Kenyan. if you're dark, or Nigeria, I don't know if they're if you're Nigerian dark, if you're there. black, there's there's I didn't look at it as you're from, but if you come, if you're white, if you're pale. Oh, that's a pale person. Mm. Like if you're if you're Arab, and so you, you're Arab. Got it. Arab so you didn't African. know you didn't you didn't really think about you didn't. So you thought like Guinea was the whole every everyone was Guinean. No, I know. Listen carefully. Mm-hmm. Senegal, Mali, <laughs> Ivory Coast, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Guinea Bissau, all of these country that was filled with like blackness, darkness black mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. I looked at them as one we're all one mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. even Kenya Rwanda Congo um, like sub-Saharan Africa everywhere everywhere that was black mm-hmm. right If you, Som- Somalis anything that was black I looked at it as we're African and we're black yeah which is true yeah right and that's all I knew I'm just it's like okay you live in I live in Michigan you live in New York mm-hmm. it doesn't change that you know, you're you're black, I'm black. Or mm-hmm. you're I'm a Michigander and what do they call New York New Yorkers? New Yorkers? Mm-hmm. Right? So I just looked at it, we just in different area, but we're the same. We just like uh, it, it was just no it was just no separation. It was no it's just you from Senegal, I'm from here. You might speak a different language, but we're all the same. The reason why I speak a different language is because that region, whatever happened in that region and whatever language was created in that region, that's the language you speak. But I just it was just saying highlighted like you guys are different. You know, someone okay, this kind of this kind of gets me to think about um someone um one of my old coworkers that I knew um so he's white from the US and stuff mm-hmm. and he's something that he said was um you know, we're all the same, right? Let's not like in 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 however many years in America, everyone's going to be mixed all together. It won't really matter. Mm-hmm. So this idea of like people, you know, really holding on to like, oh, I'm from here. This is my culture, or my culture this, my culture that. Like, it, he felt more so like everyone should just kind of like it doesn't really matter, or or it's not that important, right? Like, oh, okay, cool, but it's not that important, and and we are all just kind of like really just blended, and we're all Americans, mm-hmm. right? And for me, I was not of that view. I agree that we're all Americans, but for me, my culture is something that like is near and dear to me, and and I feel like it's important for everyone to stand within their own culture because that's what makes them unique and that's what like really like that's who they are if you like for me if i don't have my like if i don't have my culture i don't have a lot of who i am right it it makes up a large portion of who i am versus like his main point was that is not as important like because we're all the same and we're all blended and so with that being said do you feel like because in in that particular example w- if i look at someone from kenya and i look at myself i like my my old roommate was from kenya like we're all africans that's not a lie that's the truth we're all um so I, I feel the unity in that we're all african i feel the unity that we're black but 
I recognize the difference in that you're Kenyan and your culture is so rich. You have the bracelets that you guys have. If I wear it, it's not the same because you guys make it in a very specific way. Like the way that we tie our hair scarf versus the way that you tie your headscarf could be very different, you know. And so we have very like I I appreciate the the differences and 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 they are to me they are significant because that's uh, your that's a huge part of their culture. That's a huge part of my culture. I'm not discounting of the fact that we can be like, yeah, we're both African. We're both proud. We're both black. We're both proud. But I still felt, I always felt that like difference between like, whether it's an ethnic group, whether it's a culture, country, whatever. I always felt that difference of uniqueness because that's what really makes the person who they are outside of just language. No, I, 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 I agree. And I 